noises like that? Most insects that you've ever met make noises like that? Do they hiss? Behold the majesty of that hissing cockroach. Welcome to the uh, Discovery Center here at the Natural History Museum. Well, behind me, going on right now, is one of our educational programs on our Discovery Center stage. This is where we bring out bugs, hold them, and show them to school groups like this one here. Take a look, and then Sean's going to show you how we deal with spiders. Again, this animal is an insect. It's pretty big, and it's solid. It eats water. Everyone, you can see it plants, right? Well, welcome to our behind-the-scenes area here at the Natural History Museum. This is our insectary where we take care of all the bugs, you know, feed them, change their cages, hug them, kiss them, all the other things that, you know, you need to make a bug happy. I got Shana here, who's going to show you a little bit about how we actually handle our tarantulas. Shana, what do we have in there? This is our Mexican red niche, very beautiful, nice tarantula. Now, this one's already been trained to be handled. Um, she gets taken out by our gallery interpreters, and she actually gets touched by the public. So the first thing we do is we train them to be kind of... Um, I like guess submissive, I guess, right? Yeah, just so they can be gathered without scooting off. So we kind of press down on their cephalothorax very, very, very gently, and that's the first training that we do with these spiders. So first, we wouldn't even be picking them up. We'd be coming in every day, pressing down on their cephalothorax right here and making sure they were used to that before we even tried to pick them up out of their container. Just getting used to, uh, I guess, getting touched and having mm -hmm. us around, right? Yep. Yeah. And then the next thing that we do, the next step would kind of be putting your hand down and kind of gathering the legs. Wow. And it would be a little pick up That's like this. Piece of cake. Now, why are you picking up that way and not just letting it crawl onto your hand? Now, one of the problems we've found with crawl, letting them crawl under your hand is if you put your hand in front of them, sometimes they'll think you're a piece of food. Um, and it can be a little bit scarier for them that way. Um, so, bringing them like this, they do feel secure once they get used to it, and you can pick them up. And that way you can also show their underside. Oh, yeah, the naughty bits. <laughs> and you can show their There's fangs. There's the fangs, something you can touch, by the way. And as you can see, she's not bringing her fangs out. If she were very angry with us, she would have her fangs sticking straight out. And she'd be in, moving around a lot more, too. So I'm being very, very gentle with her. I'm using very, very little pressure. My top finger here isn't even touching her very much at all. It's barely touching her back. And, and where would you let people touch her now? I would let them touch her right on her abdomen, right there, that fuzzy part. So Brent can show you. Ooh. And they might move around a little bit when they do feel people touch, but as you can see, her fangs did not come out. So she's very comfortable and very used to this. And then once she's in this position, we can actually let them go on her hand. And why are we so close to the floor? If she was to jump down, spiders are actually very, very fragile. So when we first start handling these guys, we will, just so they don't feel our handshake, put our hand all the way on the floor. And that keeps my hand nice and still so she feels very comfortable. Yeah, a drop of even more than a, maybe about two feet would probably kill a spider because the abdomen would rupture on a floor this hard. So all of our talks, even in the Discovery Center, are very near the ground or very close to it. So that if we do put a spider down in this way, just to show that you can do it, the actual we're actually being safe for the sake of the spider, so that the spider won't be injured. All right, guys, just so you can see it up close, we're going to pick up the tarantula one more time against the white background. Brent's going to pick it up for us. Um, so first thing you're going to do is press down gently on the cephalothorax and then you're going to put your middle finger and your thumb between those two front and back pairs of legs and you're just holding her legs together gently. You're not squeezing hard or anything. And then you can lift and turn and get a good view of the fangs. And all those parts on the bottom are actually we do let people touch. And this is all after the spider goes through an initial training period. 
kind of desensitize them to us handling them. Now, some of you were also wondering about uh, kicking hairs. Um, this one here will do it sometimes, but I've got one that almost certainly will, and we'll be happy to show you in just a second. So not all of our spiders here at the Natural History Museum are handling spiders. This one here, a Brazilian salmon tarantula, is one of the spiders that's often referred to as being part of the bird-eating group. These spiders here can eat quite a bit, and as a result of that, we use them a lot in our feeding demonstrations, but we do not pick these ones up. They're a little bit more aggressive when you go after them, and one of the things, of course, they'll do is they'll kick the hairs on their rear end. Look how hairy the abdomen of this spider is. Sean was trying to give you a graphic representation at the conference. I'm going to see if this one here is going to kick hairs for you on camera. Oh, there's a little bit of kicking. There we go. Notice how the bum comes up and she kicks away. There's some kicking. She's also making silk as she goes, too. Look at that. Woo! And that's all it takes, kicking hairs. A great defense. There she goes again. <laughs> Big poof of hairs. Big poof of hairs. You don't want to breathe those in. Poof. Even I have to move back a little bit. Hopefully you got a little bit of a look at that. The hair kicking. There's a nice one. There's some more. 